So you're a celebrity. You make money. You have loads and loads of followers. And what do you care about? Money, 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 money. Yes, money. You're a liar. Untrustworthy. And you'll love yourself. What am I talking about? Yes, I'm talking about somebody who used to be an X Factor star. Somebody who went solo. And now he's got loads and loads of money coming in. He's a model. He's got his own business. He's a fitness freak and sells packages online. Yet, he can't do a simple refund. Well, I've got the evidence. Let's get on with the video. Hey, what's up guys and welcome to my new video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification and most of all, comment in the box below whatever you think of this video. Now today's video, I'm talking about an X, X Factor star from the UK. Yes, unfortunately I can't give this X Factor star's name for legal reasons. Okay, so I'm just going to call him Joe Vlogs or Celebrity. You know what I mean? This celebrity went on to X Factor. He didn't win it, but he became a solo singer. He's made some songs and then he's went online. He's now a fitness instructor. He sells packages for £150 pound plus for packages. Yes. And then he sells his own merch as well, which I will get into that. Yes, and he does a bit of modelling, and now he's doing another sport, which I'm not going to mention because it will give it away. But yeah, so let's get the story started. This X Factor star, me and him have been exchanging emails, and we're talking about 19 emails between us. Yes, because I bought his merch in November. Okay, so I bought his merch in November. You know what I mean? When you become a celebrity, you're a celebrity because your fans are there for you. It's the fans what get you up there. So, how does somebody treat their fans? Right. They lie. They end up being trust untrustworthy. And you're just thinking, well, are they just in it for the money? Are they bothered about their fans who buy their merch and after they buy their merch? They don't care. This is an impression I'm getting, and this is just my opinion on this. Okay, so in November, I say begin November, this celebrity put a post out advertising his calendar. And I thought, oh, quite interesting. I'll buy his calendar. I support him. You know, I've always been a fan of him since the X Factor days, and uh, I followed his work because he's a big, he's a big. But well, I want to say he's a Big star, but he's a well-known follower. He's got loads of followers on Facebook. He's got loads of big followers on Instagram and probably his Twitter as well. So he is quite big, you know what I mean. And then he's got all his fitness stuff, which it is. I mean, he does his own emails. He sends out all his merch himself. But yeah, so I've followed him ever since. So I know every day when he's posting and when he's been online. So. Get the story started. In November, beginning of November, he sent the link out on his post that he's doing a calendar for Christmas. And I thought, oh, this is quite interesting. So I went out and bought his calendar. Now, the calendar, you can have it signed or unsigned. So I bought an unsigned calendar. I thought I'd save a bit of money here. Cost me £18. And plus delivery, for five pound which is twenty three pound. Now get this, if he sold this celebrity, if he sold three hundred calendars, it will make him at the price of twenty three pounds I paid including postage, it will make him six thousand nine hundred pounds. Wow, he's got the money. So at the same time when I bought this calendar, 
there was a week and a half later I found out I was moving. So I was moving to a new a new location and I emailed this celebrity and I got an email back and I've got proof of this. Say, Tell me what we changed in dress. And he turns around and says, Yeah, no problem. So with me moving home, new address, I thought it would get sent there. But when did it get dispatched? Hmm. I bought it at the beginning of November. It got dispatched in the middle of December, just before Christmas. What a surprise, it didn't turn up. So, like I said before, at the start of the intro, 19 emails between us trying to organise this calendar. Blaming Royal Mail because there was a delay. Obviously, yes, with the pandemic, there is a delay of uh, Royal Mail, but there hasn't been a problem where I am. I keep getting parcels all the time because I buy a lot on Amazon. So, not a problem whatsoever. So, yeah. But the point of this story is, you know, it never turned up. I didn't get offered a replacement or a refund. And this turns out where this celebrity has started lying. And I've got the emails which proves that he has lied. Okay, so we keep going on with these emails. Now I'm at a point where I'm fighting for a refund. The first email, which, which I will show you here, is saying that he is so happy to give me a refund. Okay, you're happy to give me a refund. Hi Stephen, I personally posted your calendar myself, so it may not be behind on post, but it seems that they may have misplaced your order, which I quite agree, extremely frustrating. Especially I can now say that every calendar has been delivered. I apologise on behalf of the postal service, I am happy to grant your refund. And it may take three to five working days to issue. Basically, he's, given me, he's happy to give me a refund. So yeah, that's the first lie. Okay, as I say from that email there, it takes three to five days for this refund. Now, after three to five days, I'm thinking, well, come on, where's this refund? I know in a couple of emails he, he said, in one of, well, not a couple, I said, one of the emails he said, he had a couple of, of problems personally where he didn't reply to emails that he didn't go on. Which is fair enough, but he's still got like a business to promote, you know what I mean? He's still got to sort things out. So I got in touch with him after this, and he said, send me the proof of your order, which I paid by PayPal. And this is my mistake, but I should have done. I should have went to PayPal. But I thought, no, with him being a celebrity, being him talking, he seems, you know, he seems legit. He seems dead canny. But I'm just thinking, now, Silly mistake, Stephen. I should have done this through PayPal. So yeah, so the second time he said to me, well, send me the proof. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> send me the proof and I'll and the account that you where you want it sent into. So I wish I did. I sent me the proof, which I'll show you this email in a minute, and it shows you my address for PayPal. Obviously it's gonna be crossed out when I show you that. So I sent him that proof. And he says he refunded, so I'll process it the next day. He come back with, hi Stephen, great, thanks James, I'll process this tomorrow for you, that's cool. But obviously, this did not go through to PayPal again. So, as you see, the next day has come, looks in the profile, well not profile, my PayPal, what am I talking about profile? Yeah, look on my PayPal, what a surprise. There is nothing there. I'm just thinking, do you know, this is getting so, so annoying. You know what I mean? This is this celebrity who is making money off people, making money off his merch. His fans are coming and buying his stuff. You know what I mean? So, when something goes wrong, whose responsibility is it? Well, I'll actually emailed and twittered an expert 
obviously he hasn't to give back, but I know for a fact that everyone Googled it, that if a seller is selling any kind of product or merch, it is their responsibility to either replace it or give it a refund. Make sure they've got it from the start of the sale to the end in their hands. And he hasn't done that, he has failed to do that. So I sent him a reminder of this on email and this is the last email which was sent and I've heard no more about it. Okay, this is the last email I sent to him. Hi, celebrity. I have now opened a case on PayPal against you as of yesterday. You was meant to refund me. What is going on as this is getting irritating now and should not take long to solve and I have been patient and you said you will fund me on Saturday. As someone who has produced goods for sale, it is their responsibility, i.e. his responsibility, to make sure goods are delivered or replaced or refunded by law. I am disappointed as a fan it's taken this long for a simple process. I would not take two minutes to sort out like writing an email. And so far, with PayPal case being opened, he has yet to respond to PayPal. And it's only got till Thursday. So I can't understand why he's not responding. So okay, I've been in touch with PayPal now, which I should have done from the start, which has probably been the easiest thing I should have done from the start. But like I said before, I thought this celebrity was, you know, a really, really canny lad, you know, I mean they seemed dead nice and gentlemen when we emailed each other, you know what I mean? I mean, nine emails later. But now he's got till next Thursday, the 4th of um, February, to get in touch with a response in proof that uh, he has sent out this this calendar, which I know from his post that he has had a load of calendars there, you know, he's been sending out, but he said that one of mine, I'm the only person who hasn't turned up. And before people get in the comments and say, you are trying to pull a fast one, no, I'm not like that. People who know me generally, I'm not like that. I'm uh, generally not turned up. And I wouldn't go to all these limbs just to, to get £23, pounds, you know what I mean? But it's not the point of the money. The point is that I should have had that product and it hasn't been sent and he's just lied and lied. You know what I mean? So why would you treat your fans like that? But anyway, he's got to the 4th of February to respond to his emails from PayPal because I've made a claim. But so far, for the past week, it's been silent. So I'm hoping that it goes in my favour. But I'm just thinking, what is it, right? You want to be a star. You know, you go on X Factor, then you sell these packages. I mean, packages, 150 to like 200 odd pound. You know what I mean? It's just like, wow, he's making the money. And he's done modelling as well. And also before Christmas, I think on his Facebook post, he, he did a gig as well, you know what I mean? And uh, he's now into another hobby, a sport, which I don't want to go into because it might give too much away about this uh, celebrity. But if you know how I'm talking about from the thumbnail, then don't mention his name in the comments because I don't want like any comebacks on the lawsuit or anything because he's probably the type of person to do that, you know what I mean? But I thought, you know, I was a fan of this person. Turns out it's just irritating, irritating, irritating. You know what I mean? The more, more go on. Even he admits in an email that it's getting frustrating, it's irritating. You know what I mean? I could show you all the emails, but then it'd be a massive long video. You know what I mean? So yeah, I just can't understand why a star has fans and the way he treats them, you know, he lies to them, which is the biggest thing. You know what I mean? Why lie to your fans saying that you're going to refund it? I mean, does he not want to pull out the money? You know what I mean? What more can I do? I've made a claim. I've sent him the proof that I've ordered his calendar. I've sent him the proof of the payment, how it was paid. You know, I can't deny it from PayPal. You know what I mean? I just think to me, this star now, when I look at it, he loves himself too much. It's fair to say that I think he's up his own backside because he just won't refund. Why lie? You know what I mean? Just, I don't get it. Yes, fair enough. 
he might have had a little problem along the line. But that doesn't stop him doing business. If he had a problem, he's still going out doing his business, you know what I mean? Still going out doing his modeling, he's, he's still doing his, uh, his fitness online. He actually did his fitness on Facebook, oh no, actually I tell you, it was on Instagram yesterday. Here he's doing his fitness, so he's still making the money. So it can't be that much of a problem, you know what I mean? I'm just thinking, mad. Yeah, for an X Factor song, X Factor song, from an X Factor star who was turned solo, he still does his music. He, he's doing his, he's got his own fitness stuff now, you know. He was like skinny, but now he's bulked up, you know. Then he's got his own hobby, which he's doing, he's just passed something, and then all this going on, you know what I mean? Just thinking, why did that bother? You know what I mean? Like a friend said to me on Facebook, you should have just shopped locally. Yeah, I should have shopped locally. But you know, I just thought, you know, like everybody goes to a stage, right? We still do, you know what I mean? You're a fan of somebody, you, you, you buy their merch, and it turns out that I have to send it, I have not sent it. But the thing what gets to me is, you know, when I told him on the change address, he come back and says, yeah, it's not a problem. Has he actually sent it to the old address and not even checked the email to look at the new address and he won't admit it? Who knows? I can't go back to the old address now, obviously with the, the pandemic, to go and have a look or get the council to go and have a look in the door, see what's there. I don't know. But has he not sent it to the right address? Has he not checked? I asked him about this and he said address is not a problem. Well, something's gone wrong, hasn't it? But yeah, for somebody who won't give a simple refund of £23 where he's making all that money. So, for example, like I said before, 300 calendars he sold, £6,900. But that's just for the unsigned, for the signed, they probably talk about 30 quid or something. So, I mean, absolutely ridiculous. So, yeah, this is just a quick video because. You know, I'm back on, on the YouTube You think I've been doing it? I'm back on the YouTube grind. So yeah, write a comment about what you think of this video in the box below and what content you would like to see coming up soon. I'd like to have your ideas. Don't forget to like, comment, share this video if you can. And uh, yeah, tell me what you think about this uh, celebrity merch stuff and have you had any problems with celebrities before buying merch and getting refunds so yeah comment like share and until the next video guys i'll see you later and thank you for watching bye bye